Hi Team Ed Walton. Well, I hope you're all keeping well and that you've enjoyed the videos that I've posted so far. I'm hoping some of you have had a go at some of the activities yourselves. Today I'd like to take you through another athletic event and this one is the art of putting the shot. Before we can go through the technique of the throw, we're going to get creative and have a go at making our own shot. First of all, start by finding yourself a plastic carrier bag and all you're going to do is fill it with a little bit of sand or some soil from the garden. Then you need to tie a knot just above the sand or soil and it wants to be about the size of a small melon. Next I'm going to wrap the excess back over the sand and it's, you see it's starting to form a ball. Next I'm going to use some strong tape and I'm just going to start covering my sand ball. Now keep covering it until all of the bag is hidden because we don't want it to land on the ground and split so the tape will help to keep that sand or soil in place. Now keep wrapping and moulding that into shape and before you know you'll have your shot put ready. Now because we've made an object that is really quite heavy we need to make sure that before we throw our throwing area is safe to do so. So check that you've got no pets, no animals, no younger siblings, no older siblings, no parents, nobody that can walk in front of your throwing line. So make sure you've got a really good space to use and I would recommend that this activity is performed outdoors. I'm going to begin by talking you through the grip. When we throw the shot there are lots of little rhymes that we can use to help us remember some of the coaching points that we need to think about. So the first rhyme that I'd like to say is clean palm, dirty neck. So what that means is that the shot doesn't rest in the palm of our hand, but it rests on our finger pads. So I'd like you to hold on to your shot, making sure that that palm will stay clean, but the neck will be dirty. Once we've got into this position, the next little rhyme that I'd like to say is elbow high and the palm up to the sky. That encourages you to keep the elbow out and lifted nice and high. The shot put is a pushing action, so we're not pulling from the shoulder and we're not slinging like we did in the discus, but we're pushing with force and the force is generated from our shoulder, our chest and our arm. So we're going to look at that technique first from a sitting position. So remember the coaching point, clean palm, so make sure the shot is resting on the finger pads, put the shot into your neck, elbow high palm to the sky and the first thing you're going to do is aim at your target and then you're going to rotate around and push that arm forward. Okay, ready? So you can see that there's no backswing at all and that the shot is pushed from the neck. Once you've practiced that a few times from a sitting position, I want you to progress to your knees because that will allow you to bring in the rotation from your chest and to start using your upper body. Now finally we've got our standing throw and there's another little rhyme that we can use to help us remember our coaching points. So the next rhyme is chin, knee, toe, bend down low, watch it go. So make sure your chin knee and toe are in a line in your preparation for your throw. You're going to stand sideways on with your non-throwing arm pointing at the direction of your throw, making sure the weight is down on your back leg. You're going to push from that leg, rotate at the hips, bring the chest round and push through. Why don't you have a go at those three throws, one from sitting, one from kneeling, one from standing and seeing which throw can take you the furthest. Reuben couldn't resist a challenge so he wanted to come out and have a go too. 
Maybe you could challenge somebody else in your family to see who can throw the furthest. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I hope you've learned something about putting the shot. Um, but most importantly, I hope I've inspired you to keep moving at home.